All right. So this right here, guys, is a criminal complaint. Okay. And if you guys have seen other episodes uh, where I talk about this, so there's two main ways to arrest someone in the federal government. Okay. In the feds, you got a criminal complaint. There's three ways actually. And actually we're going to go over one of them today. There's a criminal complaint, an indictment, or something called an information. Okay. So a criminal complaint is basically this, guys, where an, a, um, a federal agent, right? So in this case, this is the FBI, Andrew John and Nassanti, right? Uh, writes up an affidavit of facts and evidence, uh, you know, that alleges the crime, et cetera. He brings it to a judge. The judge signs it. And then you go ahead and you get an arrest warrant and you go and pick your guy up, right? That's number one. Number two, you can go ahead and just go to grand jury and indict him. OK, and uh, what a grand jury is, is it convenes, you know, once a week, right? Pretty much in in in, a, in the courthouse. You go in there with your prosecutor and uh, as the agent, right? You go in there as, a, as the agent with the prosecutor and then <clears throat> you tell your case to the members of the grand jury. And the grand jury, just a, a pub, uh, it's a public panel of regular people, just like a jury uh, for a criminal for like a trial. It's it's the same thing. It's a, it's the um, your public peers for a grand jury and you basically tell them your case, etc., and then they pass something called a true bill of indictment, a true bill. And then the person gets indicted and then you get the arrest warrant and you go get your guy, right? So that's two different ways to get an arrest warrant. And then the third way, finally, is an information, which rarely happens to be honest with you guys. It's when the prosecutor himself files um basically think of it like a as like a like a silence slash soft indictment and then you can go ahead and get an arrest warrant off of that. So um, but and informations are very rare. And they actually did one in this case, which I'm going to talk to you guys, my speculations on why they might have did that um, information. But uh, but this is what we're going to go over first, which is the criminal complaint. So as you guys can see, United States District Court for the Central District of California. So this was the district that actually uh, charged them. As you guys can see, here's the case number 220 MJ. So, guys, just so you all know, when it's MJ, that means it has not been indicted yet. OK, because remember, it doesn't become official until a grand jury indicts you. So. They filed this criminal complaint, got him under arrest, and then most districts, you have to wait somewhere between 10 to 14 days to indict. So I did this all the time when I was on the border, right? So I'll take you guys through a little memory lane real fast. When I was on the South Texas border, and I would arrest someone, right? A lot of times Border Patrol would catch me or uh, call, <laughs> Border Patrol would call me or Customs or whatever, and they would have someone in custody, whether they were smuggling drugs, Ill illegal aliens, whatever it was. They would they would call me right, and I'd show up, and you, they'd have the person there in custody. So I would go on and interview them. Hey, where are these drugs supposed to go? Hey, where are these aliens supposed to go? Where are we supposed to take them? Whatever. What's up, man? I see you. Uh, yeah, we got fresh in the back. He just walked in while I'm on live. You want to say anything to the people? Shout to Fed it, man. We up in the building, Fresh Fit Gang, BBC Gang. Let's do it. Like the goddamn video. Um. So anyway, oh, the phone's in the middle. Yeah, put it right there. So uh, anyway. <clears throat> Y'all out, by the way? You guys dipping out now? No, no, he didn't. He didn't leave it. Look at this. Fresh is messing up the show, God damn it. All right, all right. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. We're educating the people right now. All right, later, man. So anyway, um, what was I saying? So when I was on the border, right, and I would arrest someone, right, they would have them in custody. I'd go interview them. Hey, where were these drugs supposed to go, et cetera, whatever it is. You interview them, and then you have them in custody. So let's say he decides, oh, I don't want to cooperate, whatever. I'm like, all right, cool. So I call the prosecutor. Hey, this is the evidence I got. They caught him with, you know, 20 kilos of coke, whatever the hell it is. Um, you know, cool. are you going to accept prosecution or decline? They accept prosecution. They're like, hey, write up the complaint, whatever. So I would type up a complaint just like this, and then you would take the guy, drop him off at the jail, and then, uh, you know, you'd file the paperwork, et cetera, with the judge, all that other stuff the next day. And then you get the, you get assigned, you bring them to court for initial appearance. And then within two weeks, you had to go to grand jury and formally indict the case. OK, so in this case, they got him into custody and then they came back later and filed an information, which is actually kind of rare to do it that way. But we're going to talk about that here in a second.